Hello and welcome back everybody to another YouTube video. In today's video I will explain and solve the problem set 6 CS50P chart. So in this problem we want to implement a program that takes uh, two command line arguments from the user. Uh, the first one is uh, a name of a file and the second one is a name uh, of a file uh, to write our ad uh, our output. So the user will uh, provide a file like this one and we want to add this uh, chart to this file and uh, I will put uh, the result uh, in a new file uh, called uh, or the name of it will be the second command line argument that the user will provide so first let's import sys to uh, to access the command line arguments and let's check if uh, the arguments or if the length is equal to 3 because we also count uh, the file name and if that's the case let's try and open uh, the image which, we, which the user will provide the first command line argument so let's call it um, user image for example and it's going to be equal to image dot open sys dot org v uh, one the second uh, command uh, argument uh, in the list because the first one is the name of the file and to use this function we need to uh, import it from uh, a module called uh, pillow so from pillow we will import we will actually import two functions image and image ops because we will also use this uh, in, the, in our program here so after opening our uh, uh, file let's just handle an exception uh, if the if the file doesn't exist And if that's the case, we want to exit and tell the user that the file doesn't exist. So, after reading uh, the file or the photo uh, that the user will provide, uh, we will also uh, uh, open the our image here, which is chert.png. Uh, but uh, we will actually not... Uh, I use try or exception exception because we already know that the file exists so there is no need to make these steps again so we will just open and let's call it shirt and use image to open again and let's provide uh, the file name or the photo name shirt.png so before we uh, put this image here uh, on top of this image uh, we actually need to uh, resize th this image uh, in order to uh, fit uh, the shirt perfectly so so to do this uh, there's a function called fit or but we're going to use image obs for this one so uh, let's use user image and it's going to be equal to image ops.fit and uh, this function takes uh, or we will provide it uh, two parameters only the first parameter is the name of uh, our image uh, which is uh, user image here and the second one is the size so image And the second parameter uh, should be actually uh, a tuple of uh, the tuple. Okay, let me show you. And this tuple should uh, contain width and and height. So we need to provide this information for this parameter to resize it uh, 
uh, to fit the this uh, image here so you will actually get the size of uh, of this uh, of this image or the uh, the width and the height and for this we will use okay let's first assign it to a variable called size and uh, let's call uh, a function or a method called size so chart dot size uh, we don't need to add the parentheses so this now will return a tuple uh, just like this one including width and height and we will pass in this tuple here so the image uh, that the user uh, inputs are modified and resized just to fit uh, the shirt and I will show you in a second uh, uh, the difference so or actually let let me show you now so you can see what happens so uh, let's save uh, our image here so user image dot save and uh, we need to provide um, file name so our file name will be the second uh, command line argument that the user provides so it's going to be it's going to be sys.rv and the third uh, one because as you know the first one is the file name or uh, the yeah the file name of our program and the second one is uh, the f the file that we will read the image that we will read and the third one is what we're going to use here as uh, the output file so let's see if that's working let's run python shirt and let's test on uh, before one dot jpg and uh, let's just call it after one dot jpg okay list out of index so yeah so this should be two we start index from zero so that's my bad let's try again okay nothing uh, no errors are uh, evaluated so this should uh, I would put a file called after one so let's open it okay uh, now I will show you the difference so the original one is here as you can see uh, the, there are difference so uh, we, we actually modified it we resized it and the reason we resize we we are we're, we are resizing the photo is just to fit uh, the image or the shirt so let's actually uh yeah we need to add uh, a line here uh, in order to uh, put this uh, file or this chart on top of uh, the file here so for that we will use uh, paste so user image paste and we need to provide uh, what we're going to paste on this uh, image so we're going to provide chart okay so let's run again and hopefully it works so let's open after one dot jpg okay, and now as you can see uh, that the shirt is added so i think if we actually Hmm. Okay. Let's not let's comment the the resize uh, line of code. So I think it was this one. Uh, just to show you what will happen if we don't resize the picture or the image. So let's run again. And as you can see, it's messed up. So that's why we resized our image so let's just do this again and just make sure it's working just fine okay great and now uh, let's uh, let's handle uh, the, uh, the user errors so what if the user uh, provides only one command line argument or more than two so let's handle those so let's first see if 
the length is uh, more than three and if that's the case let's exit and tell the user that too many command line arguments and let's copy and paste again for less than three and this should be too few okay let's uh, test uh, both of them so let's add another one okay too many let's provide only one command line argument too few so that's working and I think we also should um, make sure that the extensions are the same so uh, the extension here should be as the extension here so let's actually um, use uh, a module called OS uh, to help us get the extension uh, of the file so let's first make a list of the extensions that's uh, uh, that we can work with so I think uh, as the problem sa says it's a GPG uh, JPEG PNG so let's make a list of those PNG and let's store uh, the extensions uh, of uh, our command line arguments in a variable so let's make the first one extension 1 and it's going to be equal uh, this is the way to get uh, the extension of a string actually so it's os dot path and we need to provide a string but in our case we'll provide uh, the command line argument and let's copy and paste again for the second command line argument okay in order to see what uh, this uh, variable stores i have uh, yeah, a yeah file here to show you so let's print extension uh, one and also extension two and let's run Python test index out of range. Yeah, I didn't provide the command line arguments, so let's add some command line arguments. So as you can see, this variable stores a tuple, and the first uh, element is uh, the file name, and the second element is the extension. And the reason uh, they are the same is because here I also printed extension 1. I should here print extension 2. And now it will be different. So yeah, as you can see. So we want to use this. Uh, we actually want to use the second element only. Okay, so we actually will make an if statement here. And let's check if the extension 1 which uh, returns a tuple so we want to access the second element in this tuple and we want to make sure it's equal to uh, extension to the extension of the second file and if that's the case we will just uh, run this block of code and uh, I think that this will work so let's try and uh, let's provide uh, different extensions so let me just make this png okay in order to see if that's work let's make an else and print uh, error okay okay as you can see this uh, block of code uh, didn't run because the extensions are not uh, the same We'll actually uh, make sys.exit for this one and uh, tell the user 
that the input and output have different different extensions so there's actually one condition missing which if uh, uh, yeah what if the extension uh, is not one of the three one of these three extensions and if that's the case uh, we will output uh, another sys.exit or use sys.exit again so let's add another condition here just to check if the extension is one of uh, the three here so uh, if extension one and let's access the second element which is the extension and let's make sure it is in our list extensions uh, we don't need to make uh, another uh, condition for extension 2 because we already here are comparing those two so there's no need to uh, write uh, if extension 2 in extensions okay I think uh, we are done here uh, let's just uh, modify the system exit so L F they are not equal you will print this message we'll exit with this mat message otherwise let's just uh, exit and say uh, wrong extension or anything as you like so let's try and what we want to try is to put a wrong extension like uh, pi for example and pi okay wrong extension and i think we checked every case let's use check 15 just to make sure everything is working just fine so yeah that's great we uh, passed every test so we are done here and I think this problem set in general is all about uh, modules and how to use them uh, I don't think we uh, used any complicated logic or actually any new logic it's just simple if statements and uh, that's it so yeah uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and see you next time.